Welcome to episode one. Today, we're going to find ourselves in a lot of locations that you would not traditionally find yourself in if you were a photographer and you had control over the time of day and location of shooting. And uh, we're gonna see how to make those bad locations look really nice. But first, pizza. Here we are at La Cucina in Kitchener in a bit of an oddball location. We're out here on the patio. Not a whole lot going on. It would not be a location that I would select, but we do have pizzas and we do have Clarissa. And we're gonna see what we can do uh, right here. We're in shade, so that's the one thing we've got going for us. And we have, what kind of pizzas were they, Marshall? Oh, that looks, do you want the reveal? She. So, for pizza photography, I guess what we wanna do is we wanna show how good the pizza is and then also Clarissa enjoying the pizza. Just pretend as though I'm not here and just enjoy enjoy your pizza. You I can hold this. Now? You can have a slice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. The proper way to eat this pizza is you fold, fold it. Pizza. So what I'm doing is I'm center composing everything because there's just so much going on that if I can do a center composition, which traditionally is kind of frowned upon. Out here, I think it works because the only lines I have are kind of the sidewalk and the, the tables off to the side there. I like to take photos that actually have a purpose. Uh, La Cucina was so nice and, and hooked us up here. So I'd like to create one marketing image specifically for them that also features their logo. So maybe this is from the, the business marketing side of things. Uh, but I'm gonna have Clarissa just kind of over here. And you almost match the, the signage, it's so close. And looks good. And if you want to walk towards me here. All right, cool. I think that's good. We've done it. La Cucina, weird location. We still have one pizza though. So we're going to go to a parking lot. Another situation that you will find yourself in a lot as a photographer is middle of the day, hot sun coming down, no shade in sight. We're going to do these photos in the middle of this parking lot. One thing that I will say, if you're ever in a situation like this, the best case is either to wait for cloud, which it looks like we're getting now, or kind of ruins it and makes it too easy. But the other thing you want to look for is if you are in a situation like this, to put the sun as best you can at your subject's back so that it's not just hot sun right on their face, that if it's a little bit over kind of the shoulder, it's a little bit better overall, a little less harsh. And then you also want to be looking for a background that's also in the shade. So if you can find, even if it, you are in the middle of the sun, if the background's all bleached out and it's, it's hot and sunny, it's not going to be the best. But if you have something like this building in the background, even if it's not the most beautiful background, at least it kind of pulls the image together a little bit better that Clarissa's face is going to be in the shade, the background's going to be in the shade, and there's going to be some hot sun scattered around. It'll make for better image. And I'm also going to bring out an off-camera light. So go to Docs V1. I like this light because it is a great on-camera flash. So if you're an event shooter, you can use it for pretty much everything and it's always going to be bright enough. But then also in this situation, when you probably do need a strobe with a little bit more power, like a, the Godox AD200 Pro, you can actually get away with using this at either half power or full power. And it will do a pretty good job. The recycle time is a little bit slower than something that's more suited for the job, but as far as versatility goes, this can kind of do everything that you'd ever need, and it can also do this, so. I'm gonna do the best I can with this beautiful background. I feel like I'm gonna have Clarissa kind of in the center of this building here. On my camera, I have the X-T2, N for Nikon, and uh, all it does is control this off-camera light. And again, absolutely fantastic system if you're an event shooter or even if you're trying to do something like this you could theoretically bring out a soft box an octo box but i would say in a situation like this it works well enough there's enough bounce light coming back um kind of from over here actually it might even be really nice because the the building's reflecting all kinds of nice light have to get a little bit closer because it's not quite as powerful but at half power it looks really good 
So the reason that you'd want a flash like this in a situation like this is so you can actually balance with the sky. Um, because if I was simply just exposing for Clarissa, I'm gonna lose all the sky, I'm gonna lose all the blue. It's gonna be a very overexposed image in the background. But by bringing out just this one simple light, you can save a little bit of that background overall. All right. Another thing you do when you are taking images like this and you're adding your own main light is you're getting a lot of the actual saturation back from the photo. If I was just fixing this in post, you would lose a lot of that. Skin tones would gray out a little bit, but by having nice good light on your subject, awesome. So just a flash like that, really all you need to get by if you find yourself in a less than ideal location. If you find yourself in this location with a group of 20 people you need to take photos of, things that are a little bit more challenging, but for one person, for two people, for a couple, could definitely work and you can definitely create something that is a heck of a lot different than what you would usually create from this space as far as how it looks and feels. So that is all for this week. I hope that you enjoyed. We're now in a much, a much nicer location. Good shade with some good sunlight coming in. It's like a really nice spot, right? You highlight the subject with the light, background, nicely vignettes and frames. It's a better location than a uh, middle of the parking lot, but parking lot works out pretty well, I think. Thanks so much to La Cucina for the pizza and uh, for Marshall for filming this. <laughs> I think that was his nod.